know a lot of you might be saying, it looks like you've lost it, Dino. There's a box with what looks to be a miniature standing in the middle of it. And if you say that, then you are incorrect. What you are actually looking at here is my library. The library I spoke to you guys about in probably the first or second after painting that is going to resemble the library from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I've got my uh, librarian in there or my master, master librarian to kind of give me some scale. But I decided to get a start on the project and the first phase is finding this box because I needed something that would definitely be rectangular, that would have enough length so that it, you know, it would give me a good game, but I could also, you know, put it away. I didn't want it to be too bad. Uh, and that was gonna be sturdy enough. And so I settled on this box. I will probably be removing the top among of many of the other modifications that are going to make but hopefully when we are done with this we will see at least the beginnings of the library now, as far as the details and accessories uh we will revisit those in another uh after painting but for this episode i'm going to show you guys uh kind of my initial thoughts on the build out for this all right so back to the show Okay, just a quick check-in to show you guys the progress we've made so far. So, not really much. I decided to uh, run this uh, insulation foam through the middle and divide it off. I, I didn't want to go with just the long corridor like in the, uh, like in the map. Or not the map, but in the picture from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Because I just thought that would be kind of bland just to have it as a long hallway so instead i've decided to kind of section it off into rooms you can see here i've added some brickwork and that was just to give it a little character i'm not exactly sure uh how much more i'm gonna add what i'm thinking of doing is adding maybe a brick bricking off this back this whole back wall to kind of give that in in uh look of brick i, I do want to add some wallpaper elements so i don't want to get too crazy with the bricks now what might not be obvious to you is i have also laid down two mdf boards on the bottom of this so this that gives it a lot of weight and stability and i can also use those boards to lay down uh some tiles if i decide to do go with some uh, tiles i'm thinking of going by the store today and picking up some samples now, <clears throat> I'm trying to make up my mind at this point whether I am going to uh, spray paint everything black to give me a base to work with or whether I'm going to keep adding more elements and then see whether I need to spray paint at all. Uh, because obviously, if I want to do the wallpaper and stuff, then I need to spray paint it now. Uh, same thing with adding something to the floor. My original idea with the MDF was I was going to coat it in a uh, stain, a wood stain. But unfortunately, MDF is not wood. And it basically soaked up the stain, which you can see here. It soaked it all up and none of it stuck. So I'm not going to be able to stain that, at least not with a real stain. I might be able to use some of my hobby paints. I haven't tried that or tested it yet. Uh, so if I could do that, then that would actually be great. And I really wouldn't, uh, if, if I went that way, I wouldn't have to prime it at all. So that's why I'm holding back on priming it. I've got some door elements I found here. So I'm hoping to work them in somewhere. Uh, so that's basically as far as I've gotten for now. But uh, we will see you guys in the next update. Okay, so we are back with the Australian 25-pounder crew. And as you can see, I have finished the 25-pounder and the Australian. So let's take a look at them first. Uh, I did wind up going back and doing the hats. Uh... Just because I thought it would work. I also did uh, 
kind of the dressing on the boots. So that's one. These are the other two. I didn't do any highlights on the flesh, which I normally don't do. I know a lot of people like to do a lot of highlight and kind of give them the cartoon character look. I prefer to leave them like this other than the wash, which puts a natural highlight on them, depending on where it falls or recedes at. So and this is the rest of the crew. And then finally, the thing you haven't seen anything of is the gun. And this was basically just uh, Army Painter green. And then I put a green wash over it. Uh, and then I did the tires black. So I kept it simple. I mean, I could have did some chipping effects and things like that on here. I might go back and do that. Normally, I just take some gray and sponge it on there in spots. Uh, I like the base. It can't come off. So I tried to give it a sandy color. Assuming if you're working a 25 pounder, you'd probably be located somewhere on the beach. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That took me maybe an afternoon altogether, if that long. Hey everybody, so we're back. Uh, the biggest thing that's changed since I guess you guys were last here is I have added uh, basically some spackling to the wall areas to give the impression of drywall, which of course back then wouldn't have been called drywall, it just would have been uh, plaster or mud. And I could actually paint this up, so I haven't decided what color I'm gonna paint it yet. Uh, I've got a few other ideas. I've added these doors from some old games workshop uh, doors that I've kept over the years for this occasion. I put one there so you kind of got doors at opposite ends which hopefully that'll come in handy in a scenario. Oh yeah and I'm trying to turn this without chipping stuff. I did the back wall so the entire back wall has been bricked off. This side is more uniform. This side I kind of intentionally made it uh, ununiform with some of the bricks going vertical as opposed to horizontal just to maybe look like this wall had been rebuilt. I've also added this kind of uh, ad hoc cellar. So I want this to represent kind of a cellar compartment in the uh, in the, the building maybe it goes down into a dungeon maybe it's a safe room who knows but there's a door that leads down to that cellar and so you can see now we've got the making of these two rooms and really the only thing left is to do the floor i still haven't quite settled on what i'm going to do with the floor whether i'm going to paint it or i was even thinking of trying to tile it maybe creating my own like brick pavement type of tiles uh i know some crafters have done videos on that or uh i mean they didn't have carpet back then so you wouldn't put carpet down although i could get some type of uh faux fur now how much of that would be in one room would probably not be a lot so that that might be something more to add later is maybe put some faux fur in an area that sounds kind of cool. Uh, but then, so basically I have the floor. I have whatever I'm going to do with the walls. Uh, and then other than that, I think it would just be some painting and, and adding some items in here. So, I'm actually pleased with how it came out. I can tell you now it's probably not going to wind up being the library from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen as you can see that just has kind of went out the window I mean that's one thing about doing these terrain projects you kind of get going and the more you do the more you kind of decide to do something different or turn a corner and you really can't come back again so yeah the, the library project is probably uh, you know going to have to wait for another day again 
but I definitely like the way this is turning out and I'm really curious as to what it's going to wind up being. Right now it gives me more of an impression of a large inn, maybe a large estate, uh, you know, maybe even a bottom floor or a top floor in a castle or something, but we will see. So this is the current state of my weekend build, which I think I'm going to wind up calling a tavern build. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'll try to move around the different sides of it. But uh, it totally did not come out the way I expected. You know, as I got involved with it, I kind of just started ad-libbing, so to speak. I will point out a few elements. So the main thing you will notice is the hardwood floors. And this was done with some spare balsa wood that I found. So I glued the balsa wood down and then I put the varnish over there and it actually took, unlike when I tried to put the varnish on the MDF. These are just some wooden blocks, which I kind of did to represent, kind of I wanted them to look like pillars. These are some spare foreground parts. Uh, the brickwork has been painted and dry brushed. I gave the floor, I finally decided to do the floor up in just kind of a mud or dirt look, right? To just look like the premises uh, just used a regular, you know, mud or clay or dirt look. The walls were all painted in a flat earth color again. So after a while, I just decided I wanted this to kind of look like an old comfortable uh an old comfortable inn or tavern now it really doesn't look like much and if you're looking at the white stuff from the uh, plaster i did that on purpose so i basically took a uh paper towel and rubbed it in order to get that look like the wall had been used you know it's an old lived in tavern which is why some of the areas i i haven't repainted because i do want to give the look that this is going to be an old comfortable tavern now you're really not going to be able to appreciate any of this until we get some scenery in here which hopefully i will be able to do later today and then i will do some pictures of it with the scenery which i think is going to make a big difference i have some good ideals for scenery we still have my latch area here i'm going to put a wash over that that's just kind of a yellow wood color so i'll probably put a wash on that to darken that up a little bit uh, again, you can see where I rubbed off some of the wall here to look like, you know, the place has been used and lived in. And to give you a pullout look, that's the entire board. Now that basically, I did this over a weekend. I think I started it on Friday. Today is Monday. Uh, it never turned into the library. I mean, from the very beginning, I just, I kind of got to fill in the, the whole library floor was not going to work out uh probably once i added the bricks and partitioned it off but i do like it because what you can do is you can play a game where you have a building and then when you enter the building you put everything on here which is a little more 3d than simply putting it on a a gaming mat or a flip mat or something uh i could actually extend the hardwood floor out by buying some more balsa wood I ran out but I could actually balsa wood this and balsa wood that because I, I cut this stuff to shape and then basically I would need maybe one two three more pieces of balsa wood maybe one and a half here that's a pretty big space and I could extend the hardwood floors out I'm very tempted to do that even though I do like kind of the you know the earthy muddy kind of feel to it in that part of the tavern you know maybe that's the common part of the tavern maybe this is the more upscale part maybe it's not a tavern maybe it's a a, a soldier's barracks or uh maybe it's a you know a government building so i don't know but i could extend the hardwood floors out which i think would really change the look a lot if the whole thing had hardwood floors, I'm just not sure if that would maybe make it a little too 
uh, uh, anchor and gruets. I mean, you'd have kind of the real expensive looking hardwood floors with the the wide and double walls and brick. But I haven't made up my mind. I probably will buy some more MDF today, and then I will think about it. I mean, I'm assuming if I buy it, I'm gonna use it. Uh, and it wouldn't be that hard, and it wouldn't take that long. And I think it would look a lot different. Not necessarily better, but it would look a lot different. Because uh, then it would pretty much be an upscale facility. Uh, these doors, I still need to paint the metal around there. That's why they're not showing up well. Uh, these window things... You know, I could maybe paint them to look like they were looking outside, like they were blue or something. But I'm not really inclined to do that. You know, I may, I may see if I can find something to stick in there, like an image or something. I don't know. I think they're fine like they are for what it is. But there you go, guys. I mean, hopefully this at least showed you that, uh, I mean, this started as a cardboard box. So it just shows you that, hey, if you, you know, if you have an idea for something, kick around and, you know, fool around with it, you know, at the end, you're going to get something. It may not be exactly what you want, but you will get something and something you can probably use. Okay, that's it for now. So here we are everybody, the, uh, I guess I would say the final, uh, setup for the tavern, which at least that's what I'm calling it now. So I'll try to take you guys through everything after I give you a good look. Uh, so let's start with here, kind of the main room here, right here we have kind of like his, uh, he has some kind of observatory or telescope in there. There's like a grandfather clock. These are actually portions of a map. So I basically took the map, cut it into different portions, and then pasted them onto these uh, MDF. And these are actually leftover frames from some MDF kits I had from Foreground. This is actually a map of the overland, so they have this table that they can view the map. This is obviously a carpet of rock. We have a piano, because yes, in my world, they have pianos. We have a wall mural. Again, that's left over from foreground. We have a bookshelf, bookshelf which is actually hiding an exit door so then we come into like the main dining room we have our dining room table a bearskin rug a smaller side table so we leave that room and kind of come into the back hall you know maybe the private area we have some uh, tapestries on the wall some more books a chair a little chest the little cellar hatch and then yeah long stretch there is a kind of a stone fireplace there and a bed and another rug now if you're wondering where most of these pieces like this and this and all of these came from, these are actually pieces from a board game uh, that I've had for quite some time. But I thought if I ever repainted them, they'd be good for some miniature stuff. And so I finally got to do that with this project. I forgot the name of the board game, but I'll try to think about it and look it up if I can remember. But I think it, it was some kind of haunted house board game or haunted mansion i think it was mystery mansion was the name of it but uh they had like this furniture and walls and all of these different things you could buy there was another one which was like a shopping one i think 
and I took some pieces out of there. So most of these are all from different board games that were on the market at one time. None of them are available for sale, but I kind of picked them up thrifting back when I used to thrift. So the cool thing I like about this though is, you know, I could easily change this layout. You know, and I may do that and show that to you guys later. Some different changes layout. I think one thing I forgot to mention is I did extend the uh, hardwood floor into the rest of these rooms. I did make it to the hardware store. I got some more uh, balsa wood, laid it down, and stained it. And so I actually like the way that came out. I mean, and even the fact that you have, you can see these seams and stuff really makes it look legitimate that makes it look more original so i hope you guys enjoyed this project kind of my start to finish you know i don't do this often but sometimes i just get in the mood and i want to do a build something that uh you know i'm going to be able to remember or look back on later and so that's what we have here take care everybody god bless so there you go, everybody. That was a... Uh,